Today is a whole beauty overhaul. We are going into intense get ready skincare regimen, do some tanning drops. My skin is so white right now. Like I literally I need some melanin. The sun is not sunning. It is actually, it's very bright, but it's very chilly. It's going into fall. So you really need to do whatever you can to keep your tan going year round with some really great either spray tan, tanning drops or all the things. And my favorite it's right here. Y'all know everything is linked below. The top link, if you're ever wondering what am I using, I link it on the top shop my link, which is wonderful. It's in the description. Check that out. Um, and more is getting added all the time, so it's really fun. This angle is so awkward because my toilet's like right there in the background. I always think that's so strange. But we have a lot of things to do today. I did a whole um, try on, and so we're going to do a close overhaul. And I cannot wait to show you that. And then we're going to do everything to the skin today. I did a hair mask. So let's get into today's vlog. I'm so happy that you're here. Let's get started. I just have to stop right now and say so big of a thank you to Ana Luisa and today's sponsor for my video. I love this piece of jewelry. Honestly, all their jewelry, everything is so beautifully made. It's so elegant and it's high quality. Like that's insane, right? It's such high quality. If you're new to my channel and you've not ever heard me talk about Ana Luisa, you've been living under a rock because I've actually been talking about them for years. They have been amazing to me and I am so grateful to have them a part of today's content. So I want to show you though, every time I wear these on my ears, somebody's like, did you get your ears pierced? <laughs> and I'm like, no, I did not. I'm not brave enough. So this just gives you the pretty element to like having like an edgy look without going through the pain and torture. <laughs> and I'm into it. So I love it. I got one that was like solid gold. And then I got another one that had diamonds on it because I just thought it looked more elevated and it was pretty. And honestly, I've never worn them just like one. I've just always done both. I just personally, I like it. I like the layered look. And then I have jewelry from them, like other rings and things. I mean, obviously I have jewelry from them, but I have rings and stuff from them too. Like just really, really beautiful pieces and I'm into it. But I'm going to tell you something that gets me so excited is that I love so much the necklaces that I got. These are the most beautiful things that you can get for gifts for like a bestie or a mom, a mother-in-law, something like that, especially right now, like everybody's shopping I don't know. Listen, everybody is shopping for like holiday, but let me tell you how many birthdays I know that are in December. It's insane. So I just think sometimes you go to the store and you browse and you're like, I don't know what I'm going to get. I don't know what I'm going to get. And you just like, let the store speak to you. I'm going to tell you something. Let this speak to you <laughs> because it's really pretty. You would not gift anybody this and they would say, no, you really shouldn't have gotten me that no they're gonna be like oh my gosh that's so stunning and it's pieces that you can wear all the time like in like shower with and things like that that's what I love I don't always recommend that but I mean for like high quality high-end jewelry or whatever like it's okay it's not gonna turn it's not gonna you know cause any issues so I personally like to be able to like have pieces that I know if I get wet or by accident I'm like shoot I forgot to take that off because I'm taking a shower it's okay Anyways, I'm obsessed with it. So thank you, Anna Louisa, for sponsoring today's video. And not only are you amazing to me, you're amazing to my people. So my audience is getting 20% off. So you girl are getting 20% off. So use Amber Likens 20 at AnnaLouisa.com. I will link it all in the top of the description. So you can just click that, go browse, and I promise you, you will thank yourself. Like, I am so grateful I did this. What took me so long? So, anyways, I have their pieces. I have a lot of their pieces. And I will tell you, too, when you shop, they come with these beautiful bags. So, like, these are beautiful to, like, gift anyways. You don't have to, like, do any crazy wrapping. Like, they already come in bags. So, this is really cute. And the smaller things come in this. So, you guys, it just makes it easy for you. And it's like, oh, gosh, you know? It's just really high quality. And you'll love it. So, anyway get these little things they're so cool i love them they're very edgy but very cool like i'm in my 30s girl we can do this all right well let's get back to our beauty regimen 
All right, the first thing is we've got to get into the drawers and get the product that I'm actually going to be using today. So I'm going to show you kind of what's in my drawer and what I do tend to um, grab as I'm doing a whole like really intense get ready. So I do need to do a charcoal mask because I need to do this on my nose just to help with any like oil or blackheads that may or may not be coming up. But I always like to do that because, you know, that's just... The nose area always needs some extra TLC. So that for sure, I think today, I think today I'm gonna do my Drunk Elephant Moisturizer actually. So I'm gonna do this. I've been testing out the Drunk Elephant skincare. I've been sharing with my um, community, the BBC, more about this. So this is really cool. So I'm gonna kind of be breaking down a lot more for them and there. But then I also love this lotion. This is the Tree Hut Whipped um, Shea Body Butter. I love that smell. Smells really good. So we're going to do that today. Also, I love the Charlotte Tilbury. Charlotte, I always put an S in her name. I'm so sorry. But Charlotte Tilbury, her moisturizer. So I do have some of that in a sample. I need to go get a full size. It's so good. This is her magic cream. But it feels literally like the best intense moisturizer ever. So I love that. I also have to do SPF today under the makeup that I'm doing. So UV clear. So I'm definitely going to do that. Am I doing makeup today? I think I'm doing a light face today because I'm really doing a lot of skin prep. Okay. Then in here, I am going to use today this facial peel. And I've been doing more research on facial peels and I'm gonna talk to you about that but I have to do a facial peel as well so this cleans out the dirt from like your pores and things charcoal is really a great active ingredient then take off all the dead skin then like protect the skin with your sun like obviously SPF and then moisturizer I definitely love doing that um this I should have done this last night dang I should have done like an intense moisturizer last night I did some hair stuff last night though all right and then I definitely have to have the um my blade right here i have to like shave off all the like fuzz and things so that's gonna take place i need my whitening pins and i gotta find which one's mine i think this one's mine here so i definitely have to do my whitening pin i love this one so much this is if we can see it at all so this is moon is what it is um and it's kindle i don't know if she like created it or she's just the I don't know. I don't know the face of the brand. I'm not really sure. But anyways, it's very good and I love the pen technique. Me and the boys and Alan all have our own whitening pen. And I definitely need a good eye cream on my eyes today as well. So I'm going to use that. This one is from... What is this brand? Oh gosh, now I can't even think. And why is it not on here? I have no idea. Okay, anyways, I'll find that out. That'll be listed as well on my shop my. Okay, now I have to dry my hair. So I am going to dry my hair today with, y'all know this brush that I'm obsessed with. I am going to use that. I do have to do the curler a little bit as well. Oh my gosh, rainy! No, 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 no. Rain. No. No. Why do y'all get in my closet? Nobody else is in here, right? Oh my gosh, this is my husband's all of his hunting stuff. These cats literally open the closet. Wow. That's too much. Okay, so there's that. Okay, the next thing that I have to do on my routine today is I have to get out this tweezer. I just replaced the tweezer. Let me show you how like, oh, this is what happens. I literally about cracked my foot. Okay, so it is so tiny. You see how like pointy that is? So I use this in my magnified mirror. So we're gonna do that. Then I have to get my alcohol spray out. This one does have alcohol. I need a little bit more. I love these little amber bottles. I think they're so pretty. That color is gorgeous. And nails are good. I don't have to do anything with those today. Any hair clips. I don't need that. Oh, yeah. And I need my hair drops for sure. Have to do that. And what else am I doing today? Don't need that brush out. And. Yeah, okay, so I think I'm going to spray this on my hair. Again, I'm not really sure. I said this last time. Rainy! Oh, you're really learning how to open up a closet. Maybe you just want out. Do you want out, Ray Ray? Do you want out? What's going on? Do you want to go out? There you go. Okay, I think he just wanted out. And this one you can put on, like, can you see it? Like, regular hair. It doesn't, but... 
my hair is kind of wet. I just washed it this morning, but I need to put this on. And it's activated by heat, so I'm going to do that. Okay, so I found these samples, you guys, in my drawer. I have a whole drawer of samples. <laughs> and so I know at one time when I ordered my care sauce, they came in my bag just as a thank you. And then I just realized that I had it. So I was like, oh my gosh, I have to do it. I probably could have used way more than two little sample packets. So I definitely need to go get the full size, I believe, because now I'm in love with it. So what I did is I did this treatment in my hair and then I went and took my shower. I did a whole like top to bottom body scrub with the whipped Shea sugar scrub, which is delicious. Then the next day I had to wash my hair in the sink. So you're going to see that in a minute. But this actually felt really good. I just like tied it back so I could sleep with it. No clip. I just did like a really soft hair tie. And then the next morning, so it probably stayed on my hair way longer, probably like 12 hours to be honest, because I came back the next morning and it was about nine o'clock after school drop off and washed my hair. So sometimes, do you do the same thing? Let me know in the comments if you have ever washed your hair in the sink and how often do you do it? Because I probably do it every few months and it's just wild. That hair mask was so luxurious because honestly, when I was washing my hair this morning, it felt like just this soft luscious feel it felt really really great and then I washed my hair you saw with the care sauce which I also am a fan fave I've been using that for many many years since like 2019 y'all that's a long time since so almost four years that I've been dedicated to that brand for my hair and I love it um, it's just very effective and when it's effective and it works you just kind of like keep going back to it right and I put other things in my hair but that's like my staple that I kind of always go back to. So I did wash my face this morning, but I'm going to wash it again. And then I'm going to go ahead and do my masking. Um, but I need to wash my face and then I'm going to do my, um, derma, derma planing. Every time I say that, I always want to say like something else anyways, cause I do like microblading, all the things have like the same type of like sound, but the derma planing, the, um, derma plane. So I'm going to do that also, but I like to do mine on dry face. Um, there's some women that like to do an oil and do it. I prefer because my skin does not have a lot of irritation when it comes to doing this. If yours does, then add an oil to it. It's, it's still going to be effective. It's still going to feel good. I just prefer not to do that. So I am going to wash my skin and I'm going to do that. And then I'm going to pluck. And I'm just going to tell you, I literally think from dropping this, I already bent it. Like this tweez. Oh, jeez. What is happening this tweezer is so sensitive like I just had about two more but they are it's like so so tiny but the magnified mirror is a blessing because you can see everything it's a it's a love-hate relationship I've scarred my skin a lot so I'm actually kind of like in the process of getting treatments done to the skin to just brighten it and get rid of the scarring it's not really a lot of sun damage it's just plucking and messing with my face basically so it's like hairline and under the brows it's like insane so but I'm gonna get all the little baby hairs and blade them away and get the skin super soft and then that kind of like opens up my skin too so when I do a charcoal mask and then a facial peel it's more um, effective and then I can do all the serums and treatments and things and I am going to do a tanner. I'm going to do it all over like my arms, my chest, and my face as well. So let's get started. That feels so much better. Okay, I have to tell you how obsessed how obsessed I am with this um, lip balm. I love it so much that it's completely empty. It was kind of one of those things. I was like, do I love it? Do I not love it? 
but I really love it. It really, out of everything that I've been putting on my lips recently, when they're chapped and like super dry, and I'm having to get it out like with my nail. Like that's how I'm having to actually get it out. It just is so soothing and it actually gets into your lips and just like actually does the job and hydrates. I think my cat's actually getting in the closet again. Rainy, what is in there? I don't know what's happening, but it feels so good. And it gives your skin, like it allows your skin to just be this really pretty natural pink color. Um, yeah, it just, it's pretty, I love it. Doesn't have color to it. I don't know. It's just something about it. When I put it on, I just feel like my lips look like I just put like a little pink tone to them. But anyways, I'm obsessed. So that one's really good. That's from Biasins. It's so good. Okay. Now we're going to get in the mirror that my skin is washed and feels really good. We got to get the face, face done and face smooth. All right, so I just got done doing my face. Look at all this like fuzzy hair all over my mirror. It's so gross. I don't even know if you can see it. <laughs> but after doing that, like I definitely have, you can see, um, let me get this back in focus. Um, you can see now too, like on my face, like you can't with your naked eye. That, that's the thing. It's so wild. But in this mirror, you can see like all the fuzz all over my face. So I'm going to actually go rinse my face with water and probably do a tiny bit more cleanser. I actually have a charcoal, um, I'll show you a charcoal soap that I love, that I use, and let me get that. So I'll wash my face with this. It's just pure charcoal, but it's very messy in the shower, but it's it lasts forever. Um, so I'll get that, wash my face again, and then I'll do my mask. Sometimes after I wash my face too, I like the water to sit, especially after a shower. Right now, since I'm going in with mask, it's not really ideal for that, but typically I'll just let the water sit on my face because it's just more hydration naturally and, um, and it just feels really refreshing. So yeah, just any more hydration I can get, we're going to do it, but we're going in with a mask. So I can actually do these at the same time because I'm going to do this on my nose, the charcoal just to clean out pores around the nose. There's tiny, tiny little pores that it's like so hard to get things out of. So you need something to grab it. And I like a charcoal mask. If you have any suggestions to like a peel to do on the nose that's effective, like an actual like thing that you put on your nose, let me know. I'm very interested to try that or like another cream or something that kind of like dries and then you can see it. That'd be so like satisfying to see it stuck to that. So let me know in the comments if you know one. Um, and then the facial peel. This is what I wanted to tell y'all. Okay. I have been testing out drug. I'm just going to let this water sit on my skin. It just feels so good after doing that. But I have been testing out drunk elephant. And let me just be honest with y'all. I just love to be transparent. <sighs> Skincare is a lot more pricey. I like they'll say pricey than expensive. Pricier than makeup. So when you go to get a makeup product, you're like, oh yeah, 12 or $27. Cool. Let me get it. Skincare, it's like 40, 50, 90 dollars. Like it's just a lot, it's a different ball game. So I love to touch and feel and test things out. And that's why I love going to the store and just having a really good time. I don't do a lot of drug stores because of that, unless I already 100 percent know it's going to be a good product. I don't like to also waste my money on things. You know, I want to get it because I know I'm going to love it. So Drunk Elephant had a whole set. And so I got their set of minis. 
And speaking of minis, I'm launching minis for my body scrub, by the way, because it's highly requested. People have been telling me about it, that that would be really cool for the holidays. And I'm, I'm for it. And I think minis would be something that I can continue using. We'll see. But um, anyways, because of that, now I have minis of the Drunk Elephant brand. So I got their whole collection. I think it's like seven items. And I'm going to tell you my favorite today, but I'm going to... It's just a lot of detail to share, but anyways, all these right here, okay? There's that. Um, but my favorite, favorite, favorite from them, and I had no idea anything about them. Literally, I think I heard the name years ago. Since then, never heard anything else. But is this oil, first of all, the jar is, the, the bottle's so cute. This oil feels so good, and y'all know I'm obsessed with oil anyways. Like, obviously good natural clean, clean oils. Um, that are not clogging anything, right? But it is like a dream. And that's why I'm excited to test out more so then I can really tell you it's worth your coins. This oil, I can tell you right now, I don't even know how much the large one is, regular size, but it's worth it because this is so freaking amazing. Anyways, I've been using it every day and every morning and night. But they have a product, I'm gonna show you on their website. And this is what I'm actually, in the next few days, I got to go to the store. I just have to make a list. But they have this product right here. Let me show you. It's called their Bright Facial, right? So this one right here. And then it has some really, really great benefits that I want to break down for you. Some of these ingredients are a little tongue twister. So I'm going to break these down so you understand what's in it. Azelaic, I'm probably pronouncing it wrong, but azelaic acid. And that means... That that ingredient is actually di I'm gonna I'm gonna get this to say it. Dicarboxylic acid. Dicarboxylic acid, y'all. These I'm like these ingredients, how they are reading on the actual ingredient list, but then how they're pronounced, English is so complicated, guys. But dicarboxylic acid is what that ingredient is that's in it that helps like dissolve the dead skin and get rid of dead skin so it just improves the texture and it helps with like the discoloration and things like that in your skin it also has some amazing things salicylic acid it has niacinamide um it has chai seed oil um it has folic acid it has a lot of other amazing benefits to it inside that brightening and it's referenced as like a facial peel and if you watch me often and if you watch every video and watch them through and through, then you have heard me say I'm interested in like trying a new facial pill. So, all right, this water has dissolved. So, if you're interested, I'm definitely going to be testing that out too. And if you want to know about it, let me know. If you're like, yes. But if you also use Drunk Elephant, like let me know. I want to know what you're using as well because... You might be able to introduce me to something. My face 100% soaked up all of that water. So give yourself time. I mean, that was like 30 seconds. This is like in worst frame ever. But that was amazing to be able to just let that soak in. But um, yeah, we're going to go ahead and do this charcoal on my nose. Since I was like 12 or 13, I was using the Mary Kay brand. So I know it's tried and true. And I know it's really, really great. But I'm at the age where I'm just like always wanting to now try new things and just really understand what's on the market and how they work and what's in them. Because this is what I've learned through the years of being a makeup artist and being in the beauty industry is that it's not always just the brand. It's the ingredients that the brand is using. The brand is the story. You fall in love with a product because of the story behind it. And you're very passionate and loving for that. But then what really is beneficial is the product and the ingredients that are being used, do they work? And then when they do, you're like, and I also love the brand story. So it just allows you to fall in love with it even more. Um, so yeah, whatever you use, use it and love it, but make sure you're very aware of what ingredients you need for your skin. And if you're not even sure, research the product before putting it on your face. So I bought the mini, I read the bottle when I was in the store and I was like, oh, it has great benefits to it, I've gotta use it. Then I came home and then I was like reading more about the product, I'm learning about the brand, and I'm just very excited now to be using it and testing it out. Um, and so now we're going to do the peel and the main ingredient in this one is glycolic acid. And so glycolic acid dissolves dead skin. I will warn you, 
if you don't like a tingling sensation, then this is probably not something that you'll like. But I love a tingle in my product. I think that it just, I don't know. I know that it's working even if there's no tingle. But for something that peels on the skin, I'm like, yeah, we need a tingle. We need a feeling. It doesn't burn. It's just a really intense tingle. That's really what it is. Um, and so I love it. I've had a chemical pill too. And those are really beneficial. I actually need to get like two more to get the full effect of it. Um, but that feels really good on the skin. And I'm going to let that sit. But before I do, this is, I'm going to wipe this off my hands a little bit. Probably could have used that, but I'm going to wipe it off my hands. And I'm going to show you what I do to get underneath the brow. So I just take a little bit of the facial peel on the back of my hand, just like this. And then I take a Q-tip. This is definitely going to tingle for sure. And then, because I just had my brows microbladed, typically I put my peel in my brows. Like, I'm okay with that. And um, I just take the peel right under the brow just to get underneath. But I'm doing this because I just had them microbladed. Okay, I just want to be clear. You don't have to take a Q-tip when you're at home doing this. <laughs> Um, I just want to make sure I'm not putting the peel on top of the brows that are still fully healing. I mean, it's already been over a week and a half, so they're really healed, but I just want to be sure that they're good. Um, and so I just put that underneath there and then make sure my peel is in between my eyebrows really well. And then we let this sit for 20 minutes. I will be totally honest. There are times I leave this on for like an hour and a half. Not on purpose though, you guys. I do my stuff too on Saturday mornings. Whatever morning I have like three hours is the mornings I do this. And today I got started at like 10 o'clock starting my pro like my whole routine. Um, and I do this once a week. I do a deep, deep skincare regimen. I'm washing the hair the night before the day of and I'm doing a whole like face, hair, body thing. Um, and so anyways, yeah, typically I'm like making up beds and I'm like doing stuff while my pill's sitting. Um, today I'm just going to put up clothes. So while this is on my face, we're going to hang up all the clothes. But before that, let's check out, check out, can I speak, the overhaul. Let's get into it. Try on haul. I never do these, but if they get me fun, I have an old navy haul and a belt. So we're going to try on these fall, winterish type things that'll get me through the next season. And let me see what you think. And what I think that I did not try anything on. I just bought it, hoping that it would work. We'll see. Okay, so I got these dresses from Belk and I literally love the style. I thought it was so cute. Let me know what you think, but these are called like baby doll dresses. They were 38 and I got them at Belk for 21 so like a $16 saving. And I thought it was like the perfect length, which I love. Also love that it cuts right here, so it kind of accentuates. Long sleeves. Let's try on the second color. Oh my gosh, I'm obsessed. Leopard, so good. Like it? Let's try on another one. Boom. Black, of course. I have to have black. Another one. Okay, for whatever reason, I feel like the black one and the gray one are way shorter. And they're literally the same size, same make. But do you see how it's just so cute? So definitely a spray tan on these legs or leggings. And then I'll wear it in public. So I got a colored little leopard top. So adorable. It's just good for bumming around. Put on with leggings or something, you know, tuck it in and dress it up. Cats are playing in the back. They're noisy. This reminds me of like... Just a weird like maybe jean material i don't know something weird about it but it's cute and it works definitely needed like a good just long sleeve top you know so what do we think about these okay these are old navy i know i need to tuck this in button it or whatever they're very very fitted but i needed them to be fitted especially around the chest area you know when you put these on then you get deodorant it's so freaking aggravating but these are really cute and i like to just tuck them in and have like a long sleeve fitted. So I got this and also got it in green. Let's put this green one on. I love this green one. I just think that's such a pretty color. And especially like going into the holidays having green. This obviously has got to go. So tuck that in. So cute. Oh my gosh, I love this one. Oh, I like the champagne color, the tone. 
I like wearing it out with leggings. I also love the idea of tying it. This is so cute. Again, these are Old Navy. So affordable, you guys. I got a sweater as well for sweater weather. Then I got short sleeve top. So cute. Um, and I got a second sweater. So everything in my closet is like capsule wardrobe because it just allows and then I got these two. These two are like sleeveless. They also button and then they're like this. So I got a white and a black to wear and layer them. But anyways, I'm gonna try on the sweaters and then I also got another pair of leggings. I wear black all the time, but these are really pretty. They're like a deep, deep um, blue kind of, like greenish blue, they're so cute. So I'm gonna also try these on in those sweaters trying to get us through the winter guys the winter oh i just pulled this over my head stop it this is so good this is so good it kind of feels a little itchy but it feels really soft i love this tone because you can wear this over and over and over again with the capsule wardrobe sticking to the colors that really work for you my cat in this belt bag is doing the most it's like you wouldn't know i wore this 15 different times this winter <laughs> So, perfect. Definitely a new bra, for sure. Have to do a new bra. Let's just see what the white tee looks like and where it cuts. I like things to cut close enough to the crotch area so like goodies are not like out on display. Backwards. I mean, it's fine, it's definitely not long enough, but it works for the layering process. I love these so much. I think that this squared off cut is really, really great for my shape. I obviously love this so much. Okay, next, last but not least are the leggings. Let's give these a go. Okay, I put my robe back on, but these are so cute. They feel really, really good. I actually didn't realize, but look at this mesh. It goes all the way up the thigh. This is giving. This is giving, I don't know, giving what? <laughs> giving skin, honey? So cute though. And I just think they're so flattering. So anyways, very comfortable, very practical. That was my shopping haul, you guys. Old Navy and Belk, hit them up. I really am not a designer girl. I'm not against it. I'm just not really for it. I'm like, my pocket do not like that price. So we are going to go get ready. Thanks for being with me. Let me know what your favorite was. Let me know if you also do Belk and Old Navy. I think they're so amazing. So see ya. So I'm putting up all my clothes and every week I'm thinking I need to like really do a purge. I need to go through my things. If I'm really not going to wear it, I got to get rid of it. If I didn't wear it last winter, I'm getting rid of it. Um, all those things too. I got the jackets too underneath my clothes from our front closet, my husband's jackets, and I want to put them up in my closet so that frees up the front closet it's just a lot so that'll probably be in another vlog but now we are going to finish this hair my scalp right now is so freaking dry and that's why i was hoping this hair serum would really help too so i really got to do like some more treatments i have never had a bloody nose but the other night i had a bloody nose like and my husband's like, my skin is really dry. Like we are going through a thing here in North Carolina where the season is changing, our skin is changing, our hair is changing, our body's changing. So it's just a lot. So these skincare treatments, body treatments, hair treatments are so important and crucial every week, not only all the time, but really when the season's changing. So that's why I really want to reiterate, like everything that I do for my skin changes every single week. It's not the same. Every day's different, night routine, morning routine, and I have a lot of different products. But what I look for is ingredients that target certain problems that my skin or my body or my hair may be facing. And so they're not a daily thing, you know, it's like random things. So just always be aware of that when you're shopping and buying products. And so now with my body lotions, I use high end, low end um, body lotions because I don't want to always use high end. It's so freaking pricey. You know what I mean? Like I just I want us to be real as women. Like we have to be very aware of like what we're buying, how we're using it, why we're using it, how it makes us feel, the end result of it. You know what I mean? 
<sighs> Anyways, it's just a lot. And this tanning drop, it just makes me feel so good. Like, I literally, today, even doing this voiceover for you right now, I'm so tan. And I feel so good. Like, looking at this, I'm like, I do have color to my skin. But now I have more color to my skin. And I just feel so good about it. I hope that you can get these products, too. Um, because I know that they're going to help you out a lot. Okay, so that is dried. And... Yeah, I let all that water absorb on my face. So I have the tanning product on my arms and chest. And then sometimes I do total full body and sometimes I just do my face. Sometimes I do arms, chest and face. It just depends. We have a fall party here at my house this weekend. So yeah, I just think like my chest and arms need to be tan. But, 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 can I speak? Depending. I don't know why I was trying to put a P in that beginning depending depending on what i'm wearing so yeah i just realized you guys this is wish brand so we're gonna do eye cream and all the things but i am gonna do my tanning drops but you mix it in with the moisturizer so i'm gonna go in first with like my oils and serums and all that good stuff so i'm gonna go in first with my vitamin c drops from tula and the thing about that the tanner you want to make sure is that um you wash your hands. So I did wash my hands. So now the vitamin C drops. I want to have everywhere. My skin actually feels so good. When I do this once a week and I just get like an intense facial for myself doing it at home. I'm obsessed with it. My skin feels like butter. It just feels silky. It feels really, really good. And that got really well under my brow. Like all the dead skin is gone. And you really have got to do that once a week. You really do. I know it's a challenge to fit in the time, but it feels really nice. And then I'll let that soak in and absorb. I'm going to put back on my lip balm that just came off because I've been back and forth with the water. So I'm going to put a little bit of that on. The next thing you want to do is you actually want to do SPF like now to your face. Um, is what I prefer, but even some people are like, do SPF after you do your moisturizer, but honestly, it's still going to be effective, so I'm going to do my oil on my skin, and then I'm going to do my SPF, so I am going to do the Drunk Elephant, and for years, I'm always like, stick to one skincare line, I've always said that, and I still t truly believe that, that's why Tula's kind of been my go-to for a long time, um, and I've really loved it, but now I'm incorporating, like, trying new things. But I will have to give my opinion on that now, is that use ingredients that don't irritate or kind of, like, you know, mess up your skin with your chemical balance. So, be very aware of the ingredients being used. That's going to help you with making sure you're maintaining a good skincare like routine, but also skin balance. So just note to self. Okay, so we're going to use the oil. And one of my favorite ways to use this, I think on my tanning, I'm going to kind of pull this up. I think it's a little bit dry now, but I love dropping it like this. Look at that. Is that not so satisfying? So satisfying. I love it. And then I'll just kind of rub that in. Oh my gosh, it feels so good. And then we're going to do that. That vitamin C typically gets your skin kind of like tight. <laughs> so it feels very tight right now. And then I'm going to do the oil right down my neck. Oh my gosh. And I love this so much. My nighttime routine is a whole nother ball game. I use a lot of skin products, but some are for random times of the day and the week. Summer morning, summer night, summer just because. So I'm not that type of girly that only uses like four to five products. I have like 30 products and they don't all get used in one day. So you kind of know what you need for different occasions and different, you know, whatever experiments with the skin. So, I mean, doesn't this look so good and dewy? I love it. But you can see the discoloration that eventually... If you subscribe to my channel, you'll be able to see my skin kind of glow up. Take a little glow up moment. Okay, so now I'm going to do my tanning drops before my SPF because, nope, actually I'm going to do my SPF. Sometimes I have to talk myself through this, especially when I'm doing a video because when I'm doing it myself, I'm processing it in my head. But when I do a video, I feel like I have to explain why I'm doing it and then I get confused. <laughs> okay, so now we're going to do the SPF and this I love by MD. 
Elta MD. It's really good. It feels very, very amazing. And it's, it's a thin, it's like a medium, it's like a medium feel. It's not too thin, it's not too thick, but it spreads. I feel like I could keep rubbing this on my skin and it just spreads through the application. But after about one minute, it dries down. So don't rub it a ton. But if you do too much to your skin, you'll have products ball up. So be very careful about that. And then my fans in my car, because I needed that. So I need two fans. So now I have to use my hands. Struggle, struggle bus. I'm gonna do, oh, this is almost gone. I'm not gonna use it. That's my magic cream. I'm gonna keep it, I'm gonna keep it. I need to get more. Okay, I'm gonna do the Drunk Elephant Moisturizer. Again, I love a sample. So I put it right in the palm of my hand and I take like a little, like two to three drops of the tanner. And this stuff kicks in. Y'all, the first time I used this, so funny because I went to the studio. So I used it one morning. Wow, that's a lot of product. I went to the studio one morning and oh my gosh this is like really sliding <laughs> so i did the tanning drops or whatever went to work and it was like hours later and i was like what's on my hand like i couldn't even like understand why my hands were like a different color and i was like what's on my hands what did i do like this is so weird why are they like brown and i could not remember but i did the tanning drops and i never washed my hand so the palm of my hands were brown and it was very strange. So wash your hands <laughs> after doing it. Okay, and I'm gonna do the eyelids, do the ears. I do right at my neck and I do right here as well. So everywhere. This feels so good. Now that that's on, my skin definitely needs some hydration around the eyes. This has a great peptides in it, this eye cream, and I love the metal applicator. And when you buy the box, it actually comes with a second. So you get two eye creams. So this bottom pops out. It's very hard to get out though. It pops out and then the new one pops in. And yeah, so this has lasted me a while. Even that face scrub. And I use that probably once a week. So this Wishful, um, and it has enzyme in it, but it's like right here. That's how much is left. It's so good. Enzyme scrub, it's amazing. So I found some really good skincare brands. I would say Wishful's a really good brand to test out and try. Tula for sure. Biasin, 100% love them too, and I've also used their retinol, and I loved it. Um, I cannot believe I've used so many brands of skincare recently, and now I'm using Drug Elephant. What is happening to me? Where did their original Amber go? She's gone. Okay, so now we're going to dry the teeth. A little bit. Dry. A little dry down. I haven't done this in a few weeks, actually. I can't really use the strips anymore because they burn. My teeth are very sensitive. So when you push this out, it kind of looks like it's almost gone. Then you just rub it on your teeth. And that's it. Just like that. You can definitely taste it. I need to make sure it's coming out. I eat. No, it's coming out. Yep. It's in there. See, these she have here, they're more sensitive. Don't get it wet. Try not to. I'll probably put enough on, but just in case. Maddox says this, and after he's done, he's like, oh my gosh, I have to strip. He's so dramatic. Uh, it is a little, it is a little weird tasting, but just let it sit and do its thing. Love it, love it, love it. Okay. And that's it, y'all. That is it. Besides drying my hair. So I'm going to let that sit while I dry my hair. I think it's time to close my mouth now. I just like to let it sit there for a minute, you know. Um, that is literally my deep skincare regimen. So we did plucking. We did um, dermaplaning. We did charcoal getting everything out of the pores of the nose we did a peel so we did glycolic acid all over the skin to dissolve the deadness we also did an enzyme scrub which i'm obsessed with as well we did some amazing oils to the skin spf which is a 46 um so so good what else did we do we did a lot oh my gosh we did a lot so i'm gonna link the product 
on my shop my so you can check that out and again I'm an entrepreneur and obviously as a content creator I link everything so there is a small commission when you use my links so if you have a Sephora or an Ulta like account already set up I tell you it's the easiest thing to set up but then when you add the products from my shop my link to your Ulta or Sephora it's so easy you just click it and it adds it to your cart and then you can check out it's just an easy process especially if you know you already love the product um some of the hair care that I did use I did the nightly oil obviously like a whole night serum from Carousels on my hair last night washed that out this morning so I did use the Carousels product and then did the whey product as well so lots of great things in my hair so my hair feels really really great right now so it should last me a few days I wash it once a week but I do like deep treatments like every other week um and so yes there we go it feels really good um let's dry my hair and then we'll be done today thank you for being here and thank you anna louisa for sponsoring today's video go get your fun jewelry i went ahead and packaged mine right back up so i keep it safe and amazing right back here in my jewelry so when i'm ready to put it on and wear it it's ready to go i'm obsessed with these little things they're so cute but go to analoisa.com and use amber likens 20 at checkout to save 20 percent you're welcome and i'll see you in the next video go ahead and subscribe and head on over in the description check out everything so you stay in the loop and don't miss out i'll see you in the next one bye you guys love you